You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Sarah Weaver. In the days following Thanksgiving, most of us have holiday shopping on our minds. Volunteer Hampton Roads also has giving on the mind, but in a different way. Each year, volunteers from all over Hampton Roads get together to help spread a little holiday cheer by participating in Family Volunteer Day. Here to tell us more about this community-wide volunteer project are Volunteer Hampton Roads Executive Director Kate Meekin and Family Volunteer Day Committee Chair Allie Whitcamp. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Kate, I'm going to start with you and have you tell us a little bit about Volunteer Hampton Roads for those who might not know about the organization. Sure. Um, Volunteer Hampton Roads has been around um, this area for 56 years. Wow. Um, we were started by Junior League um, with the idea of just getting people in our community involved in giving back through volunteerism, so giving their time and talents. Um, we then, over the years, became um, our own 501c3 nonprofit. Um, we continue to do this volunteerism piece. Um, we also support corporations in their um, philanthropy programs, helping them establish employee volunteer programs. Um, and we work with the nonprofits to help them with their training and resources to help them strengthen their missions. And I know there's three focus areas for Volunteer Hampton Roads. Can you touch on those three for us? Sure. Um, we, we like to finally fondly say we have three pillars um, that our mission stands on, and it's that volunteerism piece, our uh, corporate engagement piece, and our nonprofit piece where we do the training and resources. So you mentioned a corporate volunteer council, and Allie, you are part of that corporate volunteer council as a representative of Town Bank. And this year, you are the chair of Family Volunteer Day, which is what we're here to talk about today mainly. So why don't you give me a little bit of background on Family Volunteer Day and give us some details. This is the 15th year for Family Volunteer Day, and uh, I've been involved for, I think, five or six years, and it, it really is um, just such a great gathering of, of all of our CVC companies, uh, not only that day of Family Volunteer Day, which is a day and Saturday that we will all get together and, and pack 800 boxes of food to go out to families um, to feed them for a week. But really, the work has already started among our CVC companies uh, because we all pledge to, to collect uh, canned items or to, to give funds to, to buy those items. Um, and so right now, the, the race is on. It's 16,000 items wow. of, of food that, um, that by November 13th will all be dropped off at the food bank and then ready to be sorted and packed um, on Family Volunteer Day. So talk to me about that process. How do you gather 16,000 food items? Uh, well, at Town Bank, uh, we, we adopted the, the tuna program, Okay. <laughs> the, the Town Tuna Tally. Um, we have, I think this is the fifth year that, that we've collected tuna. And so it becomes something every year that, you know, I have coworkers that'll see me in April and say, hey, is it tuna time? <laughs> and so it really builds momentum. Um, and I know different of the other CVC companies have races or they do, they put together, you know, football style teams where they have kind of a fantasy league of, of bringing, you know, collecting cans. Uh, so it starts as early as August and then wow. by November, uh, you know, some companies donate over thousands. Of, of canned items by, when, by the time we get to Family Volunteer Day. So give me specifics on Family Volunteer Day. Where is it? When is it? How can folks get involved? So it's at uh, Virginia Wesleyan College. Mm -hmm. They very graciously open their, uh, their multi-purpose, their, I think it's called their old gym, but, um, to us. And uh, there are usually about 800 people in the room that day. Uh, CVC companies send teams. Um, and then also uh, within the community, uh, you know, you can sign up um, at volunteerhr.org. But we have church groups out there, you know, other uh, faith-based groups, uh, as well as civic groups and, and just other, even just neighborhoods or sports teams that get together um, to, you know, with some kind of social mission. And uh, that day, there, you go walk into the gym and there are 12 tables lined up, each of them, you know, representing a, either a shelter or a, or a food program within uh, Hampton Roads. And each of them gets, you know, about 60 boxes um, full of food that, that then get distributed to, to families in their program in the following week. That's wonderful. It sounds, that sounds like you have a really great partnership with the food bank. And um, we're just about out of time, but I know that you did mention earlier that uh, Norfolk Southern is a great partner. 
in yes. this in this organization. So um, thanks to them for all of their support too. Okay. So um, again, Family Volunteer Day is on Saturday, November 23rd at Virginia Wesleyan College. To find out more about how you can get involved in this community-wide volunteer project or participate in one of the many projects made available through Volunteer Hampton Roads, please visit www.volunteerhr.org. For Hot Ticket, I'm Sarah Weaver.